Now you know the T on Frank Sinatra. That's who that was, by the way. Not Frank Langella, who was <laughs> earlier. So. And this last piece is from my, my uh, friend Carrie Fisher. Um, Yay, who I've known for a long time and, and who's gained all the weight I lost and, and got a Weight Watchers deal. <laughs> I gained weight, do I? No, she's Jenny Craig now. I just have lap band surgery. And, but the, you know, no, the doctor said, you could be a spokesman, you've lost 100 pounds on lap band. And I said, dude, is this the photo you want? <laughs> you know, what would be before? <laughs> Really mammoth, I suppose. This is, her, this is her memoir called Wishful Drinking, which she turned into a, uh, a, a one-woman show and an HBO special. But I, this, I don't think, this story does not uh, appear exactly the same way, I don't think. Um, 43 years ago, George Lucas ruined my life. When I was making Star Wars, George gave me this unbelievably idiotic hairstyle. <laughs> And I'm brought before him like some sacrificial asshole. He says in his little voice, well, what do you think of it? And I say, because I'm terrified I'm going to be fired for being too fat, I love it. <laughs> anyway, when I got this job, they told me I had to lose 10 pounds. Well, I weighed 105 at the time. Aww. But to be fair, I carried about 50 of those pounds in my face. <laughs> and don't forget, George Lucas was the one, the man who made me into a little doll. <laughs> and it barely even hurt. A little doll that one of my exes could stick pins into whenever he was annoyed with me. He also made me into a shampoo bottle where people could twist off my head and pour liquid out of my neck. And then there was a soap that read, lather up with Leia. And you'll feel like a princess yourself. And I'm a tiny little stumpy Lego thing which are delicious, by the way. <laughs> and now there's even a stamp, which is totally cool, and not only because of the licking. <laughs> but the thing I've been made into that has really enhanced the quality of my life, I'm a Pez dispenser. <laughs> if you can get someone to make you into a Pez dispenser, <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, and remember that white dress I wore all through Star Wars? George comes up to me the first day of filming, and he takes one look at the dress, and he says, you can't wear a bra to that dress. So I say, why? And he says, because there's no underwear in space. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you this is true. And he says it with such conviction. <laughs> like he had been to space <laughs> and looked around <laughs> and didn't see any bras or panties or briefs anywhere. So instead of a bra, what do you think I wore for support intergalactically? <laughs> gaffer's tape. But clearly, they've gone as far as they can go with this whole doll thing. I mean, what are they going to do? Make a life-size Leia doll? Okay, I admit, I knew about this, and I have to say it does turn out to be kind of a useful thing. Because if ever anyone tells me to go fuck myself, I can actually get the doll and give it a twirl. <laughs> Carrie Fisher.